Sometimes the biggest disaster isn't a fire or a flood. It's a legal one. Meet David and Linda. They absolutely love their home, but with a growing family, they just needed more space. So they decided to go big, a massive two-story addition, complete with a beautiful new master suite and a spacious garage. It was going to be their dream come true. Now, David was a classic do-it-yourself kind of guy. He saw building permits as just a government cash grab. He figured, hey, it's my property. I should be able to build whatever I want on it. So he hired a contractor, a friend of a friend, and told him to forget the paperwork and just get to work. And they worked fast. With no city inspections, no zoning checks, and no one measuring setbacks, the structure shot up. In just six months, the extension was finished. And it was stunning. They were so proud, they threw a huge party to show it off to all their friends and family. But one person wasn't celebrating, their next door neighbor. You see, the brand new garage was built just six inches over the property line. That's all it took. The neighbor made a call to the city. The very next morning, a city inspector was at David's front door. He asked to see the permits for the project. David, still riding the high from his party, just smiled and told him there weren't any. The inspector's smile vanished. He pulled out a red tag and slapped it on the structure. All work had to stop. But that was just the beginning of the nightmare. Because no inspections had been done on the foundation, the framing, or the electrical work, the city couldn't confirm if the addition was even safe to live in. David hired lawyers and spent the next year fighting. He sank thousands upon thousands of dollars trying to get a variance, some kind of retroactive approval. But the law was crystal clear. In the end, the judge issued the final order, demolition. David had to hire a wrecking crew to tear down his own beautiful brand new dream extension. He stood there, on his lawn, and watched as heavy machinery ripped apart the master suite he and Linda had never even slept in. Building without a permit isn't some act of rebellion. It's gambling, and your entire home is the poker chip. In that game, the house always loses. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to follow for more stories like this.